Hello and welcome to Vivork. I'm Brian Watrous and this is part 41 in a 10 part video series where we are learning how to automate using VRI's orchestrator. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a VRO action that calls PowerShell code. We're going to do something very similar in this video, but this time instead of calling a power instead of creating an action that calls PowerShell code, we're going to create an action that calls a PowerShell commandlet. So let's take a look at how this works. So in the previous two videos, we called generate an action from a PowerShell script, but this time we're going to call the slightly different workflow above it called generate an action for a PowerShell commandlet. So we'll click the run button. And when we run this workflow, the second two, not the second two, the second and third steps of the input parameter questions are just like the, the previous workflow. So here in this section, it's asking us what do you want to call your new action and where you want it stored. That works just like we saw in the previous two videos. And in the last page of input parameter questions, we see the same questions we saw in the previous two videos. It wants to know, would you also like us to create a workflow for calling your action? So those two pages of input parameter questions are the same as before. So let's look at the first page of input parameter questions, because this is where it's different from the previous two videos. So if you call generate an action for a PowerShell commandlet, it's not going to ask you for the PowerShell code you want called. Instead, it's going to ask you what PowerShell commandlet do you want this action to call. So in effect, you're, you're kind of um, fusing together your VRA action and a Power CLI or PowerShell commandlet. So the first thing we specify here is what commandlet do you want to call? Again, the commandlets are defined by PowerShell, so go check your PowerShell documentation to find out what all those exciting PowerShell commandlets are that are available. And as you're reading that documentation, you're also going to want to um, study in PowerShell um, those different commandlets have different parameter sets. Uh, in other words, uh, in the PowerShell world, a single commandlet can take different arguments, different parameters, depending upon how you call it. So we need you to specify which parameter set. Again, I can't tell you what to choose there because you have to know the PowerShell commandlet itself. So read your PowerShell documentation. But other than that, this workflow called generating an action for PowerShell commandlet works very much like the one we saw in the previous two videos, the workflow called generate an action for PowerShell script. So nothing terribly new here. Everything that's different here is right here in this page of input parameter questions. Now, I had originally planned uh, to have six videos on, on how to use the PowerShell plugin for Orchestrator, but as I've gone through these six last videos, I realized that I left one out. So as an added bonus, there's going to be a seventh video, video number 42 is going to be our seventh video on uh, how to use the PowerShell plugin in VRealize Orchestrator. And I'm definitely going to include that video because it, it is one of the most important things you need to know about the PowerShell plugin. So please join me in video number 42. 